Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander, and this is a demonstration of how to generate CRUD forms for the Play Framework 2 using Cato. To get started, I've created an empty Play project in Eclipse. Next, you can see from this URL that the Play Framework is responding at the root URL, but if I go to uh, a contacts URI, it's not working yet. To get the application working, I'm going to use Cato, which is a template-driven CRUD generator I've created. The first thing I'll do is create some initial stub code for our application. To use Cato, you first select the database table that you want to work with, then the fields that you want to use when you're generating forms, and then templates. And in this case, I've selected a template for the routes file for the Play Framework. So I've copied and pasted that routes information into my play project in Eclipse. And now I'm stubbing out a basic controller. The first controller I generated, it just has stub code for each of the actions. So you see when I refresh this page, I get a to-do page. And I'll improve that here in just a moment. To generate the list view, I'll go ahead and select another template in Cato, then I'll copy and paste that code. And this is code for the model. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup work here I need to do next. Uh, Cato isn't perfect, but it's off to a pretty good start, as you'll see. What I'm doing here is adding an import statement for the date field. Um, then deleting some of the comments, which I have in the template, which are reminders to me of what code needs to be cleaned up. And now I'm just reformatting the code a little bit. Next, I'm going to generate this list view. So I'll copy and paste this into a file that I've named uh, list.scala.html. Again, I believe there's just a little bit of cleanup here. Once I finish this cleanup work, there's a little bit more to do. I need to generate the um, list method for the controller, which you see here. I'll copy and paste that in. And then I need to generate the form. So I'll go back to Cato, select another template, generate that form. And again, I'll copy it from Cato and paste it into Eclipse. And then there will be a little bit of cleanup work I need to do here, in particular with the date field. And you can see I also generated the date helper, and I'm just going to copy and paste that. So now that I have that code cleaned up, I'll go back to the browser and refresh the contacts page and you'll see the list view is working. Maybe you can't really tell that the list view is working, so what we'll do now is create the add view. Again, I go back to Cato, select a form. Excuse me, I select a template. And this is going to be two methods for the controller. One for the to display the add form and the other one for the submit process overwrite the stub code that I generated earlier and then clean this code up just a bit. Then next I am going to generate the uh, model code and this includes an insert method and then the some stub code for an update method. I don't need the update method yet um, but I am referring to it in the controller so I'm just gonna I just generated a stub for it and now I'm just going to clean up that code. I know it isn't too exciting to watch me clean up the code here, but I wanted to show this in real time uh, just so you can get an idea of how fast or perhaps how slow this is. And once I'm finished with that code, I'll come back to Cato and I'm going to generate the uh, form for the add process. And you can see I've generated the name for the file as well, which is form.scala.html. Uh, again, I'll copy that code 
come back to Eclipse and paste it into the form. And then I have a little more uh, cleanup in here, again, related to the date field. I did generate the date helper uh, just below here. You see I'll copy and paste that. Uh, so that makes the process a little bit quicker, even though it's not perfect yet. Once I finish making these changes for the date field, I'll go back to the browser. And now I can click on the Add button, and you'll see the Add form show up. I'll fill in my first name and last name. And when I submit the form, you'll see my name now in the list of contacts. Also, note that the uh, date field generated this calendar widget for me. That has more to do with play than it has to do with me. Now that I have the list and add process working, it's time to uh, create the delete process. So again, I go back to Cato, uh, generate a method for the controller. This is just a simple delete method. Then I'll go back to Cato and generate the um, delete method for the model. This is for deleting the uh, entry in the database. Once I've pasted all that code in, I can go back into the browser and click the delete button, or excuse me, click the delete link for the contact that I'd added earlier. And you'll see that it's removed. With all those items working, it's now time for the last step, which is the edit process. Again, I go back to Cato, and I'll be generating a, what am I generating here? A method for the controller edit method, then go back to Cato, select another template, and this is generating um, two methods for the model class. So I'll copy and paste those in, and then again there's a little bit of cleanup work. It took about 30 seconds for me to finish that editing, so I trimmed that clip uh, so you didn't have to watch me type. And now what I'm going to do is go back to the browser and uh, to demonstrate the edit process, I first need to add a contact back in. So I'm adding a contact here, including a date. And then once I save that, I will click on the link over on the left to edit that contact. So I'll go ahead and change the name and then change the date. And then I will uh, save the form again. And that demonstrates the edit process. I trimmed the video a little bit to save you some time, but the actual total time for developing the um, stub, code, the list, add, delete, and edit processes was 7 minutes and 18 seconds. I hope you've enjoyed this video on generating CRUD forms for version 2 of the Play Framework. You can find Cato at CatoCRUDGenerator.com. I'm at AlvinAlexander.com. And as a shameless plug, I've written a Scala cookbook for O'Reilly. Thank you.